Hey you humans, Coach Nate here with another mindful focus. In this post it reads, I've come to realize the only people I need in my life are the ones who need me in theirs, even when I have nothing else to offer but myself. It is important, perhaps obvious, to point out that need is different than want or desire. I may want to have something, but that does not necessarily, that does not mean I need it and it must be there. The, the point here is it's not just what we can do for them. If a relationship is based solely on what we do for someone else, not who we are, I'm going to go so far as to say it's, it's not an authentic relationship. It may be a relationship, use user, um, giver, receiver, um, provider, taker, unbalanced, in other words, unbalanced and not good for our mental health. Yeah, you, it may be pushing the envelope a little bit to say that when we go and we conduct a transaction at a store, that we have a relationship with the individual. Um, but that's transactional. If it's if it's based entirely on what one party does for the other, when we are facing and dealing with challenges in our lives, difficulties, in other words, life. The takers, those that are only in our lives to see what they can get from us, to receive what they can get from us, to to take whatever we're willing to offer and give um, continually, repeatedly, as long as we're willing to do it for, as long as we're willing to do it, that can drain us. That can sap what little energy that we have to work through what it is that we're trying to manage through. And it can even lead to others taking advantage of us. If, if you have a giving heart, if you're kind, caring, compassionate, and you're hurting, and you're choosing to be there for others because you don't want them to feel the way that you feel, that can open up the door to being taken advantage of. And again, I'm not saying that they are being malicious or even intentional. There are those. But moreover, it is, as I spoke of in one of my previous videos, we have trained them that this is the way that it is. And some will go so far as to convince themselves unknowingly that, well, it's going to make you feel better to do this for me when you're hurting. Not necess not taking into account the sacrifice that that is requiring on your part. The effort, the energy, and glad to have their cup filled, but not taking into account that maybe your cup could use a filling and maybe you are trying to pay it forward in hopes that someone may refill your cup. Again, not, none of this is, is material exchange. That would be, um, that would put this in a, in a, that would lower this. It would, that, that's not what we're, what we're talking about. It, it's basically in relationships, it, it, we're talking about compassion. It works both ways. When we are low on energy, when we are sad, experiencing low mood, when anxiety, when we're dealing with any type of difficult emotion that requires energy and mental energy, that we have at times a limited supply of that. And, and, and so if we have expended a bunch of it for ourselves and then we've given the rest away, cup empty. And I read something the other day is one of the most meaningful acts ways to show someone that you love them is through the expression of compassion 
I have not once ever been in a store where you could purchase compassion. You can't order it online and, and have it shipped. Um, Uber doesn't deliver it. Compassion is from one human soul to another. Understanding, taking the time to understand where the other person may be, where their mental space they may be in, and holding space for them. Sometimes it's sitting and saying nothing. Sometimes it's a kind word. What it is not is judgmental, critical, um, expecting something in return, conditional. So in terms of let go, live now, when the how of letting go, living now, and winning it, it assess all of your relationships for their true value. First, determine which are transactionships and which are relationships. And once you've separated those two, you know where this group of transactionships belong at an arm's length if even then, then looking at your relationships, if you find that it only exists because they have something to gain, it's worth reconsidering. It's worth reconsidering just how much time and energy and focus you're going to invest into that relationship. If it's, if it's not equally balanced, and again, we're talking the intrinsic the kind, the careness, the caring, the compassion, the kindness, the, 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 the love, the things money can't buy, the things that are only genuinely felt and expressed. Now, if they're limited in their capacity to express that, I get it. But if it's in a negative, it's, if it's in the red, if there's, they're, they're either taking and not providing, have the ability and choosing not to, and even if they don't have the capacity, then that tells you to temper that relationship so you're not putting yourself at risk for their lack of capacity ability or even desire to do an even exchange or at least show the basics of human kindness compassion and empathy those who you have nothing whatsoever to offer and, and that can be pretty obvious when you're, when you're in the midst of the storm. There's, there's nothing you can do for them. There's nothing you can give them other than maybe a kind word. They're, they're, you're, you're, you're extraordinarily limited. And they remain, they don't desert you in the midst of, of your storm. Those are the folks to have in your inner circle. Those are the, that's a pretty clear determinant that it is you they value not what you can do for them not what you have not how they could leverage knowing you not just seeking to see if they have access to you but genuinely caring about you they're going to be few and far in between just to be very honest but those are the people that belong in your in your inner circle and most of all, be there for yourself. Sometimes your inner circle is a triangle. Sometimes it's a straight line. Sometimes it's a dot. It's you. Celebrate yourself. Be there for yourself. That is, that is a win that is worth celebrating and reminding yourself that you've come this far. You've gone through this much and yet you're still here, and you remain standing, and you know that you can be there for yourself anytime you choose, want, and desire. Don't let yourself down and depend on others. Simply sharing some insights. Feel free to try it or toss it. Both of those answers can be correct for you, but only you can make that determination. If this resonates with you, feel free to give a like 
a follow, even share it so others can benefit from it, mainly so you know that when I post new content, you're, you're made aware of it. And as always, let go, live now, and win. <laughs>